poetry. Uh, Tell us about is it. writing, stage performance, and social activism in elementary and middle school classrooms. All right, so, Mr. Mike Taylor, we're going to come forth now and introduce this wonderful set of individuals who are kicking off the evening. Yeah. Give him a round of applause, because without him, he wouldn't be here. All right, I, I don't know how to do, like, a, a poetry reading. I just know I don't, like, want to show. How y'all doing today? Dear erasers, I really want to say not the random reckless words on my paper that's now in shreds. But you're not holding me up as much as you used to. I can't talk to you. I can't spew out random ramblings of words I don't know, but I don't need a therapist. I tried that. What I need is a friend who knows me. I want to talk to you, but you'll just erase my words. It's important to talk. You erase what's important. You take away the meaningful scribbles of words that I can never say aloud. This might turn into amazing poems one day, but until then, you just keep erasing the memories of what I used to be. You erase my future, my past, and you erase my present. My past is in sitting down happy as can be, and then standing up and hugging. Like it was a last goodbye. I know it wasn't, but that's what it felt like to me. I needed to talk then. You erased my memories, and now I'm wishing I could remember that day when I made the mistake that almost ruined my life. Although you leave the memories that stay in my mind forever and ever, going to school the next day, and I'm telling everyone my parents divorced, even though it's just a separation then. I wish I could erase those words. I wish I didn't say those words that predicted the future. I didn't have you then. You brought me out and gave me the ability to erase. Erase is no qualification to be erased. Words don't have to be better to be erased. They don't have to be special to be erased. You just have to be there in the first place to be erased. And this is why I can't deal with you anymore. But of course you can just push those words away like I push away the last shreds of eraser from my paper. My paper that said, hey, can I talk to you after class? I really need to talk. I wrote that note to my friend so I could talk, so I could learn, so I couldn't erase. And yet you still erase. You can't erase the divorce. You can't erase the black ink on the bottom of the page. You can't erase the sign black line blind with my mother's tear stain staining the future forever with you I'm nothing but words put into what you call perfection. I am not perfection and maybe perfection is a mistake with you I will make too many mistakes to fix all of which you will not be able to destroy this time and this time there will be no mistakes this time there will be no second chances. I will not learn from my mistakes if you erase them. I will not write if you erase. I will not build if you destroy. I will not love you if I know you will be the heartbreak. Dear erasers, I'm breaking up with you. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Now we're talking. One more time for Amelia. Yeah. These girls are these girls are coming from a very small beach city, uh, not 15, 20 minutes south of here, Pacifica. Um, Pacifica. Yeah, Pacifica. Yeah. Yeah. We spent a week there one day. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Just so um, they uh, they all write on the same team actually, and every year we produce this uh, anthology. And in Pacifica, there's about 500 or so students um, that all compete with each other, write with each other. They see each other at shows and events. Um, and they're all in this. Are we allowed to sell merch here? Say what? Are we allowed to sell merch here? Yeah. Cool. This is $15 if you want to take home a copy. Talk to me. It could be $15-ish. Y'all like the ish. <laughs> um, but y'all ready for another poet? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Right. I'm going to bring the youngest poet on the stage tonight. Please welcome to the stage, Darren. <laughs> okay, have her stand where you are. Be at this place because the light will be better. The light will be better? Yeah, yeah. You're standing uh, up there. Uh, but like maybe. That's too low. That's yeah. too low. That's there you go. There we go. There we go. All right, now we got the light on, everything. All right. Go to it. I'm standing in my room with the lights turned off, the hallway light on so I have a slim way of light, when my dog walks in. I see his black and silhouette against the blackness. He tries to jump up on my bed, and as I look into his eyes, I know that everything is going to be okay. But I'm sitting on the ki I'm sitting in the kitchen spinning on a desk chair to music that I do not know the name of. My dog gets up from the kitchen table he, and stops me. He jumps and licks my face with his ears off my lap and there is, 
and there is more to it. Bug, Daisy, my dog, comes into my room when I am sleeping on his mattress. She walks over and lays down on my feet. Bug, I get a how to dog. Dogs, Bug, is obsessed with it day after day, trying to perfect the drawing of a greyhound. Bug, I've had dogs since the first second of my life. I spent my whole life with them. Yeah, I did not really start loving them until six years later, Bug. I'm standing on the FP stairs. Pull it out of my mind until I see a black and gold dog through the window. He picks up a ball and tries to play with me through the glass. Three years later, I sit by his side on the couch, bug with bug. With great power comes great responsibility, yet for some reason, we refuse our sense day one. We put our dogs in tiny puppy mills. We chain them outside. We refuse the black and silhouettes in the blackness. We will never see the light. They jump on our beds, yet we push them off as we say we love them. Dogs make your heart stronger and can calm you down. They will keep coming back in the blackness. They will never stop seeing the light until we do. They still love us. Yet we have pushed them away since the first bug. Right. There we go. Just walk around the other way. There we go. All right. Woo! Watch this foot. Watch this foot. Work. One more time for Dario, y'all. One more time for Dario. All right. Um, I got it. Go ahead. All right, now, Go ahead. what I realized, uh, when some kids join the poetry team uh, because they love writing poems, I think all of them join it, but also what's really cool to see is when two friends join together, um, and then they have this, like, poetry friendship thing that they, like, hang out and do poems and then hang out and do other stuff too. Um, so I'm gonna bring up like my favorite pair of friends in the program that poem together all the time. There are a couple of weirdos. Please welcome Una and Joylee. Una and Joylee. In the house. In the house. So get really close to the mic like about this far away. You can go a little bit slower than your compatriots. I'm just saying that when I first came into this cafe, I like I saw the people here and they seemed really chill. And I'm like, hmm, this is definitely one of those cafes where like you go up to the cashier and be like, can I have the usual? And then the cashier would be like, yep. And then you have like the secret handshake with the cashier or something. Like that. And then yeah. Um, with the microphone, put it between you. Okay. There we go. Meet me at the start of the world. With the invention of paper currency, we can buy anything, even a house for fifteen dollars. We can buy happiness, freedom, hope, love. For only seven ninety nine a month. Businesses, companies, all we want is money. We'll murder, kill, slaughter, bully people over ten dollars. Don't you think this is getting out of hand? Every single everlasting moment of everyone's life is just about this change. Why do you think jobs were invented? Bribing people to work for you. Even education, education costs, costs a bundle. School, food, water, books. What's in, what's the point in living a life when I've just gone bankrupt? Being broke just puts you in a lower rank in society. We pity the poor and envy the rich. Why do you think this all started? The best friend friend of me erasers can't erase the bill the bills in my pocket. They say time is money, but I don't think I've got any time left. Why, Why are we feel so greedy for money? Why, Why am I? I? I'm broke. I'm a I disgrace. I need a job. I'm I can't afford college. I'm a wallet. Dirty. I need money. Work at McDonald's. Meet me at the end of the world because money is the last man standing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm not missing anybody. Is Shay here? No. 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 Okay. Uh, I'm not sure where Shay is. Can we just give her a round of applause? Like, All right. Yay! Yay! So if she comes in and your guys are still, we'll do it. Okay. okay. We'll just, we'll now, just... I heard somebody say that superheroes was the theme. Yes, dear. Yes. Oh. Superheroes the, is the theme? Uh, the, of the evening. Of the evening. There every, there's an e changing evenings theme. There's the ongoing theme, but there's also the evenings changing. Is it all right if I do a poem? Yes. 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 Is that all right with y'all? Yes. Yes. yes! Wait a minute. This is his first time, so give him the first time. Yes. Yes. I, 
I, I really like to walk around and I'm Okay, so then I'll just pull this back and I'll try to follow you my right. best. All right. So, um my name is Mike Taylor. I got uh I got pretty popular on YouTube for uh doing poetry. Um a, a lot of people I got like, "Oh my gosh, almost a million hits and uh Superman and the Justice League, they decided to come to one of my shows. This is how it went. There's two ways you can step on stage. You can either rent or you can own. You can take the microphone on loan or steal it so the crowd feels the same feelings you pass long after a show. Because when a poet passes gas on stage, you should be able to smell it at home hours after. And after hours, I tried convincing the Justice League I had superpowers, but they said, anyone can shout. So I'm like, Superman, wait! I can fly too. He's like, really? I'm like, no. But I can flow. Like a fish? No, like a bird. Bobbing his beak to the beat of his wings in the breeze. When my knees get cold, I shiver in rhythm, but I don't freeze because my words pack heat. But you can't fly. No, I can't fly. So there's no place for me on the Justice League, just the freaks. He's like, yeah, sorry. I'm like, Superman, wait! I'm a freak too! He's like, really? I'm like, no. <laughs> but people say I must have three eyes, because it's amazing the way I see rhyme and somewhat entertaining. Maybe I could fight crime like that. But can you fight? I'm lethal with a pen. <laughs> and although in a fist fight, I might resort to biting men in ink, I hold lightning with my hands. Great, so you hold lightning. No, stupid. <laughs> That's just a metaphor I formed. What we're meant to say is I perform. Adorned in a mask, I'm a master of disguise. In the past, I've plastered myself as a faster, flatter, fatter person. As a matter of fact, I've been batter and catcher in the same pitch. Because pitch black late at night, I learned to fight with only my words to back me in the back of an alley. Ask me what I can do? Go ahead, say it grand. Ask me what I can do. What can you do? What can you do? I'll tell you. Yeah. I can retaliate with a quick response. I don't have sharp teeth or claws, but I learned that words bite. Words bite stronger than jaws. <laughs> Furthermore, Aquaman. Yeah. I can hold a rhyme longer than you can hold your breath. <laughs> Batman was convinced. So was Wonder Woman. But Superman told me something I would never forget. He said, it doesn't matter what you can do. He said, I've saved a lot of things from a lot of things. But the first time I saved anything was a cat from a tree. Superman told me it doesn't matter what you can do. It matters how you use what you can do to save people. So I'm like, Superman, wait! I can do that too. See, a lot of people have superpowers. But real superheroes can save a falling crowd from slamming into the ground. Slamming isn't about rhythm or sound or rhyme, nor how, nor, nor how many big, profound words I can have coming out of my mouth at one time. Let me raise the bar. There's two ways you can step off stage. You can either talk, or you can save. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. There we go. All right. Thank you one more time. Give a round of applause for all of you. All